I'm Marshall King with Flavor 574 and the Elkhart Truth. As a kid growing up near Goshen, going out to eat was a real treat. But what's been a treat the last couple years is to see how the food scene has developed. Olympia Candy Kitchen has been serving its sweet treats for more than 100 years. Its chocolate caramel turtles have been taken to LA movie studios, the White House, and certainly served in a lot of Goshen homes. Where else can you find an olive nut sandwich but at Olympia? It's a classic, just like the ice cream at the Chief, where standing in line has become a summer tradition and it's been voted the best ice cream in Indiana. Goshen has become a dining destination. How did that happen? One meal at a time, one sip, and one bite at a time. The turning point in Goshen's food scene started with a coffee shop that became the prime destination point for gathering, meetings, and thousands of cups of coffee. The Electric Brew was just named Indiana Main Street's Business of the Year, and if you smell coffee roasting downtown, it's likely coming from there. Ten years ago in Goshen, a bar called Constant Spring opened with craft beer and organic pub grub. It immediately became a local favorite, renowned for two things. It's locally sourced food and where hip meets a familiar hometown vibe. You regularly hear people say, let's go to the spring, and it remains immensely popular in town. If you come, try the Pad Thai salad or maybe the Royale burger with cheese. But whatever you do, leave room for a happy dance cupcake. Down the street at Kelly J's Cafe, a homegrown chef named Kelly Graff is bringing the flavors of Caribbean islands and of Asia to Goshen. There's so much goodness to choose from, but try the salmon encrusted with crushed wasabi peas, a recipe Graff perfected. A few doors down from Kelly J's Cafe, Bobby and Rosie Singh turned their passion for Indian food into a restaurant for Midwesterners. And with a tandoori oven and fresh roasted and ground spices and sauces made from scratch, Maple Indian Restaurant makes the Maple City more delicious. If you come, try the naan or the flatbread or the chicken madras curry, but it's a big menu and you can hardly go wrong. Southside Soda Shop, which has been selling food for nearly a century, got national attention from Guy Fieri on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Whatever you do, don't miss the cheesesteaks and lemon meringue pie. I'm in Venturi, enjoying some authentic Italian pizza. It's clear why people come to Goshen to get a taste of this. It's one of the few places in the Midwest that has a Neapolitan certification. What comes out of that 900 degree wood oven is amazing, and the craft cocktails that they can put alongside it are too. Goshen's rich culinary history leads to places like this. Goshen Brewing Company serves a funky menu with local ingredients and beer brewed right here in a building that was abandoned for many years and was owned by the power company. Goshen Brewing Company is perched along a trail that goes through the heart of Goshen and connects to surrounding towns such as Middlebury and Shipshawana. It's owned by Mennonites and serves a menu made of local ingredients, but with a hipster flair. At Sunday brunch, try the Biker Bowl, a hearty bowl of breakfast goodness. There are also sandwiches and Brussels sprouts with a Thai-flavored vinaigrette. Wash them down with the Menno Mighty IPA. We all love good food. We all hope for that next great meal, that memory made with flavors and friends. You'll find that in Goshen, Indiana, a small Midwestern city with big flavors and friends waiting to welcome you.